Over the next decade, innovations in digital technology will present vast opportunities to ASEAN economies to boost their productivity and prosperity. Development impediment is no longer limited to facilities but to the limitation of human creative ability. The more widespread adoption of existing technologies, coupled with advances in the use of artificial intelligence, AI has the potential to transform business capabilities. Additionally, environmental and climate changes are affecting ASIN countries to develop renewable energy sources and technologies to mitigate pollution and create a sustainable future. Another trend impacting the future of work is the aging populations in ASIN countries. To avoid shortages of labor and overall reduction of productivity in these economies, policies and programs are being developed to help extend working hours for employees and to help implement increased training for elders in next decades. Future labor markets will be more fluid, less secure and technology-driven. The range of tasks that can be handled by technology will expand. Mass production will no longer necessarily mean mass employment. Uh, như chúng ta đã biết rằng uh, vấn đề phát triển bồi dưỡng cái nguồn nhân lực đó là một cái quyết sách rất là lớn của mỗi quốc gia. Trước cái tình hình như vậy đấy, với cái trách nhiệm của mình là năm chủ tịch ASEAN thì Việt Nam cũng đã chủ động đề xuất và hội nghị cấp cao ASEAN đã đưa ra một cái tuyên bố về phát triển nguồn nhân lực trong một cái thế giới Việt Nam đang thay đổi. Cái mục tiêu bao trùm của cái tuyên bố này chính là các quốc gia trong ASEAN và cộng đồng thế giới cùng chung tay nhằm chăm lo, bồi dưỡng, đào tạo và phát triển nhân lực nhằm thích ứng với những thay đổi trong thời kỳ mới, thích ứng trong một thế giới mà công việc đang thay đổi nhằm tạo ra một cái sự phát triển bao trùm và bền vững. Ở đó, kỹ năng lao động, việc làm thỏa đáng là những ưu tiên hàng đầu trong cái quyết sách mà hội nghị cấp cao ASEAN đã đưa ra. Applications of new technologies opens new business opportunities but also presents new challenges. The business sector, especially small and medium-sized enterprises, which account for a larger proportion of number in ASEAN economies, are vulnerable in this process. By investing in human resource development, their business will become more responsive and adaptive in the changing world of work. If we're talking about uh, the uh, investment into uh, human resource, we have to talk uh, about the investment into SMEs first, uh, in terms of uh, human resource development. So I think that this is the key, you know, because uh, you see, they are like a backbone of any economy. Without them, we cannot uh, work, you know. So I think that is uh, that's why, you know, when we're talking about education and training uh, uh, for businesses in any economy or country, I think that is the first priority is that we have to focus on MSMEs. In response to the changes in labor market, existing and new employees are required to have new or additional competencies in knowledge, skills and attitudes. Uh, nowadays, uh, APD software has uh, two biggest challenges. The first one is uh, the lack of uh, needed uh, skills for our um, businesses. The second thing is uh, redundance of those skills. And uh, for those people who are affected, we need to retrain them. In APT software, we are um, solving the problem in uh, three ways. The first one is um, we are working closely with APT University and the online um, university called Phoenix in order to make sure that the curriculum are relevant nowadays. In the second one, we invest uh, on our employees through learning and development initiatives. So, very frequently, our employees had to go through refresh training. The last uh, main way we are coping with this is uh, our leaders are taking the lead. They are go to classroom to transfer their knowledge and also to motivate our people. In the process of greening economics, some jobs in some parts of the economy are likely to be destroyed, while other areas will have job creation and demand for certain green skills. ASEAN must incorporate green jobs and green skills in the human resources development perspective. This is vital as green jobs acquire employees to apply green skills that promote the concept of decent work. 
thus promoting green skills is necessary to promote sustainable growth in ASEAN region that minimize waste and pollution, restore ecosystem and improve energy efficiency. This is also in line with achieving the 2030 Agenda for a Sustainable Development Goals as targeted by all of us. Definitely Malaysia will do its best to take the labour sector forward by incorporating green jobs and skills as stated in the ASEAN Declaration on promoting green jobs for equity and inclusive growth of ASEAN community. AMS and ASEAN's response to these changes in how we work and how human resource development addresses these changes could be one of the most important implementations made in ensuring the region stays competitive. We are all interested in teaching our children critical thinking, communication, collaboration and creativity. We also want our children to be able to deal with change and this is very important to learn new things and preserve their mental balance in very uh, and familiar uh, situations. But the way we do this would differ from one ASEAN country to another. So exchange of experience will be very uh, useful and will give us lessons and we can be sharing whatever learnings, challenges that we face and deal with in our uh, efforts to make education relevant for uh, the world of the future. The ASEAN Tibet Council, being a cross-sectoral platform, can contribute to the advancement of human resources in the region. You can expect that in the coming months, we shall start developing our work plan. This will define relevant policies, reforms, and programs on skills training that will help us. Lastly, the collaboration and commitment of the members of the ASEAN Tibet Council would be its biggest contribution to achieving an empowered, future-ready, and resilient ASEAN human resources. We assure the region that the ASEAN Tibet Council will do its best to further advance our human resources. In the face of unprecedented and rapid change in the world of work, employers and workers need to adapt quickly to new ways of working and doing business. So should our education and training systems. They need to prepare workers to be agile and mobile in the face of future employment trends and shocks. While improving the agility of education and training systems, our efforts in human resources development in ASEM must also respond to the region's aspiration for inclusive growth. The pandemic is a stark reminder of pre-existing inequalities, pushing many of the burdens on the most vulnerable. These gaps must be bridged. Vietnam and ASEC coordinated with different stakeholders in AMS, in education, labor, and business to develop a master plan and invite for contribution. With technical support of the German Recovit program, the first kickoff workshop was organized in October 2019 in Ha Long City, and the regional meeting was in January 2020 in Vinh Phuc, Vietnam. The German government has decided to support MOLISA and the ASEAN Secretariat in the 2020 ASEAN Chairmanship uh, in the development of the Agenda on Human Resources Development for the Changing World of Work. Um, the objective has been to include um, all parts of government that are involved with education, but also to give a voice to stakeholders that are not commonly involved in such processes, such as the private sector and the trade unions. The ASEAN Declaration on Human Resource Development for Changing the World of Work was formally adopted at the 36th ASEAN Summit. At the summit, the leaders agreed on the need to restore regional and international economic activities and help stabilize the lives of people and business in the future. The ASEAN Declaration on Human Resource Development for the Changing World of Work, of work uh, fully supports the ASEAN Vision 2025, especially in building our people-centered, people-oriented community. Uh, the nature of work and competition are changing, and we see that the world of work, including labor, mobility, now is becoming more dynamic due to technological advancement and economies are greening 
and our society are aging. It is critical for to ensure the ASEAN readiness to adapt to these changes and transform them into opportunity for greater employment and decent work. I would like to commend the ASEAN member states for their commitment in preparing our human resource so as to be ready for the future work and to ensure that no one left behind. The roadmap of the ASEAN Declaration on Human Resources Development for the Changing World of Work was spearheaded by Vietnam under the chairmanship of ASEAN 2020. Implementation of the ASEAN Declaration on Human Resources Development for the Changing World of Work was officially adopted at the 36th Summit on 26 June 2020. There are five key principles in the implementation. They must be measurable, impactful, inclusive, pragmatic, and gender responsive. The vision of the declaration is that ASEAN human resources are future ready and equipped with competencies that enable them to actively contribute to the sustainable development, competitiveness, and resilience of ASEAN. The key outcomes would be Outcome 1. Strengthen lifelong learning culture in education, training, and employment. Outcome 2. Improved inclusiveness of education and employment for all. Outcome 3. Demand-driven competencies and qualifications that meet labor market needs. Outcome 4. Better employment opportunities and employability of graduates. Outcome 5. Sound human resource development policies. ASIN will use six strategies in the execution through implementing bodies, partnerships, capacity building, resource mobilization, communications, monitoring, and evaluation. The future in ASEAN is bright. It is full of amazing new technologies on the horizon that will transform and lift up the people and quality of life in the region. With continued AEMS and ASEAN support, collaboration, and implementation, these important initiatives will help to not only stabilize and secure the impending employment environment in the region, but also make sure the people and countries are in front to take advantage of the opportunities these technologies will provide.